Hi everyone, so this is Saturday um, and I am heading out. So I'm going on a solo date, you might say. Um, so I'm going to um, a lavender farm, it's not too far away from me. Uh, it should take me an hour and a half to drive and I'm just going to have a picnic, have some time by myself and just chill out. Um, I know some people probably think how is it that you can do these things by yourself i mean you just have to get used to it um by the way if you're new to my channel if you're just seeing me for the first time my name is diola and so on this channel i share content on traveling solo and doing things solo because if you want to wait for people to be available to do the things that you really want want to do life will just pass you by so i've gotten to a point in my life where i just do things um by myself and also because I enjoy my own company as well. Doesn't necessarily mean I don't do things with my friends. Yes, I do. But a lot of the times, people are busy with their lives. You don't want to wait around and say, okay, I'm just going to wait until they are free. No. So that's the purpose of me really sharing how I do things by myself, um, traveling alone. It's been really fun. Um, I didn't, when I first started traveling solo, I think it was 2010, my first um, travel solo. It wasn't fun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it took some adjusting to, I didn't like it. My first ever trip, I did not like it. I hated it. But because I didn't have a plan, I didn't have anything, I just went without having a solid plan. So it wasn't really fun, I didn't really know what to do. So I hadn't done a lot of research and I went to Dallas. So that wasn't particularly fun, but since then, I've I've started doing traveling solo again um, and re in recent years and it's been really one of the most fulfilling things I've done in my life and I thought why not share this with uh, a larger community as well I give people some encouragement and maybe if you've been thinking about doing it for a while but you've not had that courage to take that big step that first step um, it's really not that deep it's really not that hard honestly when you travel solo you get so many opportunities to like meet different people really find out how nice people can be um there are so many nice people out there in the world like even when they see you struggling to take photos they offer to take photos for you and uh yeah it's been fun it's been rewarding i've been to, I've been to so many countries now i'm solo and i'm not gonna i won't look back i'm not looking back and i'm going to continue doing it anyways so i digressed so today um, I'm going to, yes, again, a solo adventure to a lavender farm. So this is, today is Saturday. So the last day for this summer opening time is tomorrow, Sunday. So I thought, okay, I need to make the most of it now before the show tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be doing something else. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan for today. Um, it's an hour and a half away and shouldn't be too bad. So I've got some snacks in my bag and I've got a book, I've got my AirPods. Uh, I've got music, I've got water, so I think I'm good to go. So yeah, let's go and let's go and find out what this place is about.
beautiful out here. It's just so peaceful and it's sunny today as well, so it makes it worthwhile. sunny and I'm loving it so it's been really good to be here today actually be out of the house and just out here and chilling so oh, the weather is so nice makes it worthwhile just to leave the house there's a lot of people here and I think people are just loving it um, so people from all different types of places it's so good to just come out here and chill with nature and just have a good time like break up the routine a little bit and just be out here the sun is shining i mean if you live in england you know that when the sun is shining like this you have to make the most of it because this is a rare occurrence, very rare. And this place is also going to be shutting down tomorrow. So I thought I might as well come today and make the most of it. So I've been here for a couple of hours and I'm not in a hurry to go back home, to be honest. Um, as long as the sun is still shining, I'm gonna be here. So um, yeah, it's lovely, the entry, fee for august is five pounds fifty for adult i can't remember how much it is for kids but it's less um but i think during peak periods such as um july uh the price uh, goes up a little bit um i think adult for july period will be eight pounds something so but i'm not sure but i think that's it so yeah, it's great. It's good to be here and it's just, I'm just loving it. The lavenders are beautiful, the flowers are beautiful, everything is just beautiful. The weather is amazing. The sky is blue. <gasps> yeah, so you can see there are so many different fields that they have. So the lavender fields over there, there's more scattered around different places as well so but ultimately ultimately to me i would say it's worth it it's worth coming here um, just to relax um, enjoy the sun and also I, I see different people coming with like big cameras like dslr big massive cameras taking photos maybe people coming for like different photo shoes you see people dressed up for like different occasions i've seen so many balloons um, i've seen so many beautiful outfits like dresses red white green whatever like people are just here all dressed up all looking stunning and i also think that's also a good watch if you like watching you see a lot of things that you just fascinate you and it's just amazing like look at this lady here now she's wearing this indian sari and i think she looks amazing so i'm not sure if you can see her properly but yeah so i think it's just good so yeah it's amazing it's a good place and i really like it it's so enjoyable as well A few more, maybe about 20 minutes, and then I'll head home. So. But I'm heading home now. I'm gonna go home. Might see if I can get something from the shops because they do have a shop. 
where you can buy some things. Some lavender products. So. lavender chocolate so I'm gonna try that hopefully it's gonna be nice and then I might buy some linen spray as well so essential oils Ooh. I want a slumber set Okay. Oh, the queue is long though. Do I want to queue though? Uh, I'm not sure if I want to. I don't like queuing, not for anything. Oh God, look at these dogs. They are gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it's a beautiful dog. Should I kill? Should I not? Come <laughs> Sorry, can I just ask what breed are they? They're so beautiful. It's a chow chow. All right. Wow. <laughs> They're nice. Thank you. <laughs> So this place they have more than enough parking like plenty of parking so you don't even have to worry and it's free so the only thing you have to pay for is to enter um, so yeah that's one of the things that I like about this place you can just come in park your car easily there's plenty of space I just need to find my car now. have lost my car at this point I'm just looking for a white car so I know that I parked somewhere around here um, so whether it's this side or that side I do not know so Oh, I think I see it. I see it. I see it. That's great. Time to go home, baby. 
I'm gonna have to go. Can I jump this thing? I think I can. So.